Uh, basically, I think what the campaign is right now is uh, it's really about the economy. Right? It's uh, people who can't pay their uh, taxes, their mortgages. Uh, instead of filling the uh, tank up for you know twenty dollars, now it's sixty dollars, and it's starting to stretch out. I think the town of Winchester, you know, about three years ago, was in a pretty pretty uh, uh, sad state. Mm -hmm. But with the help of a lot of selectmen that I've worked with, uh, 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 I think we got the economy and the budget back on track and we're able to do a lot of things by doing a lot of creative things and working together. I think the same has to be done for Stoneham. Uh, it's a great town. Uh, they're right on the precipice of uh, doing what Winchester did. They're going to change over to health care like we did, uh, go to MIA. We saved six hundred thousand. I think they somebody told me they could save over a million dollars. All right, and I think uh, what's gotten lost in all this political camp campaign, it's uh, is is really the person that's paying the bill. Uh, the average uh, young family that's trying to raise uh, uh, you know, kids in in Stoneham or Winchester. Uh, and I can't talking afford. about how dominated um, the state legislature is by the Democratic Party. Mm -hmm. um, and given that, and the fact that a Democrat has um, been serving this district for at least the past 20 years, mm -hmm. how do you think you fare as a Republican uh, winning the vote? Just being a Republican in this election is going to be an uphill battle, but I think all, all politics, as you know, is local. Okay. I have a pretty good track record as a selectman to, to speak out and, and do what is right. Okay? Uh, you know, I think as a, a Republican, and the people should realize this, is uh, right now having so many Democrats in the, uh, in the uh, state Senate, uh, a lot of voices are not being heard. A lot of voices, and it's scary. And I think that, the, you know, the, you look back to the beginning of the country, you needed a two-party, three-party system. And we in Massachusetts have a one-party system.